Hi everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at a quick and easy way how to get these depth of field particles in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. First, go to New Composition. We'll do 1920 by 1080, 25 frames a second for 10 seconds. Click OK. Come up here and create a shape by grabbing the ellipse tool here. So if we click and drag, and then if you hold Shift, it'll just keep it as a perfect circle as you scale it up. And we'll create something about this size here. And then we want the anchor point to be in the center of our shape. So if we hold Control and then double click the anchor point tool. Now that's in the center of the shape. We'll now select our shape and hit P on the keyboard. Now hold Alt and click the stopwatch here and type wiggle. And we'll do the frequency at 0 0.5. So that's how fast it moves. And then we'll do comma 100. So it'll be 100 pixels. It will move around. We'll just put this near the center. We'll next go to layer, new, and then camera. Click OK. Drag the camera down, camera options, and we'll turn depth of field on there. And if we jump where it says one view into two views, and we'll get a top down view so we can see the camera and our shape. The circle shape is exactly at the focal point here, is what we want. So if we select our shape layer and it, we hold Control and D or Command and D. So press that a few times. So that'll duplicate the shape. And if we make them all a 3D object by turning these on, we'll move one of them really far away by doing this and to the left. And then one of them closer to the camera and to the right. So we have these three circles here, and you can see from a top-down view, one's further away from the camera and one's closer. If we go back into our camera options, and we just boost the aperture here to like 500, or even more, we can do like 800. And you can see that it's focused on the middle one here because the focal distance, which is this one, is closer to the middle. We can move that further to the back, and it will focus on the one further to the back there. So we'll hit the keyframe at zero seconds, move to one seconds in, and bring the focal depth right to the one right at the front there. So now this one on the right here is in focus. And then if we hold Alt and click the stopwatch, we'll type in loop. So loop out, and then in quotation marks, we'll hit ping pong. And what this will do, it'll just go back and forth in between both of the focal distances, both of the keyframes we've created there. So you can see the focus just keeps shifting right through them. And then if we select all three and Control and D again, we can dupe them a few times and just move them as you're duplicating them. Do the same again. And you can move them further forward, further back. And then we should have quite a lot of shapes there. We'll next go layer, new adjustment layer. Make sure this is on the top. And we can move back to one view now. And we'll type in our effects and presets panel, glow. And you can grab a glow and put that on there. I like to use deep glow because this is a really cool plugin that I bought because it has chromatic aberration. So you can get a bit of those different colors coming out and then tint the color as well to maybe like a blue. And if I want more of these spheres, I'll just select them and then Control and D, Control and D. And there we are, I'll just keep shifting back and forth between them. And there we are, a quick and easy way how to create these depth of field shapes in Adobe After Effects. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tinny.tv. Thanks for watching.